Hi everybody, this is Ruth Ratliff, and today I'm going to lead you through what they call an EFT, or Emotional Freedom Technique, tapping session. And EFT tapping has been found to remove stress and stuck energy, even cravings, and certainly emotions and sensations that you just want to shake off or transmute. I hope you'll join us. So emotional freedom technique, or EFT tapping, draws on the ancient Chinese practice of acupuncture, which I am taking right now, and I highly recommend it. It's an amazing modality for pain relief and relaxation. And that teaches that the body's energy actually travels along specific pathways. And there are certain points on these pathways, or other, otherwise known as meridians, uh, that are stimulated that can improve our flow of energy. And tapping is a very easy to learn technique that literally involves tapping on your body on these meridian points. You start by focusing on a thought or an idea, a feeling or an emotion by recalling a memory uh, um, of an experience or perhaps um, a sensation in your body. Like sometimes when I'm upset, I feel it in my stomach, my solar plexus, uh, or some people get chest pain or feel it in their back. So you could recall a sensation as well. I've been using this technique for many years myself and more currently with my clients with really good results. It actually rewires or creates new neural pathways in your brain. And we all know that that negative self-talk can create very well-worn paths and it can turn into sometimes obsessive thought loops and that can release our stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. And that keeps us in fight, flight, or freeze mode. So let's go over some of the points that we're going to be tapping on. First, while you're remembering or thinking about the feeling or sensation, you're going to be tapping on what they call the karate chop point, and you're seeing it's right here at the bottom part of your pinky. And you're just going to be remembering that feeling, that feeling, that feeling. And once you really get yourself into that sense of that feeling. You're going to be moving to the top of your head and you're just making your hands into like little claws. kind. Of. And then you're going to move to above your eyebrows. And all the time you're talking about this feeling and then the sides of your eyes and then under your eyes and then below your nose and on your chin, and you are saying, hooking into this feeling the whole time. And then this is a point called K27. It's right below, if you see, you feel the little bumps uh, of your collarbone, just go a little diagonally out, and then there should be a little fleshy point there. And that could be tender. And then I like to go right here underneath the ribs. And then I usually will come back to the karate chop point at the end. And then you can start that sequence over again. So let me take you through a sample sequence using one of my issues, performance anxiety. So I would basically be recalling how I felt before a performance. Oh, I love to perform, but I really don't like the way it feels. I'd be thinking about the butterflies in my stomach. The anxiety, mm-hmm, how that felt, a kind of curdling feeling in my stomach. And maybe I'd be thinking about the thoughts that I would be having. Like, why do I do this to myself? I know I love to perform and I know I can get past this, but oh, this feeling, this feeling of anxiety. And then I'm going to start with the statement, even though. So there's an even though. I feel like I'm a professional. Why am I still having this stupid performance anxiety? And even though I really don't like those butterflies in my stomach, 
And even though those butterflies in my stomach, I think, speak to a larger issue, and even though that larger issue is probably that I don't feel confident about myself, ah, but even though I don't feel as confident as I'd like to, I still love and accept myself unconditionally. So do you see how we're doing it? You're, you're getting an awareness of the underlying feeling of really what's, what's behind these emotional feelings, what's behind these thoughts. And that is what you're going to be shifting and transmuting with EFT tapping. So let me take you through another that you can do. I'm going to just say, even though, and you can plug in your statements. And it doesn't have to be, it, it could be anything. It, it's really a sequence of your own creating. It's for you. It's your personal mantra, as it were, to be able to release these feelings and these thoughts. So let's start out. We're going to get in that karate chop point. And just think of a time maybe when your voice was shut down. We all have that feeling, at least as little kids, right? That feeling. Think of that feeling. Say it out loud. What was the feeling? Was it anger? Was it shame? Shame's a big one. And then you're going to make a statement. Even though... And even though... And even though... You can put in your own. <sighs> and even though, it doesn't have to be complicated. And even though, I feel like this feeling is holding me back from who I am. And even though, I still love and accept myself unconditionally. and then go back. And then what you do is you stop and take a few breaths. And notice if you feel any different in your body. Now, just from doing that, even though I wasn't really thinking about anything, uh, anything that was bothering me, I feel much more grounded. So that second time I led you through that sequence, I can understand that it might not have been, uh, it might have felt a little bit awkward, but please just use that as kind of like a sample, as a template for you to make up your own. What I like to do too, which is even more empowering, is I will just say positive affirmations. I feel wonderful today. Even though I don't know why, I just feel so great. Ah. Oh. I've, I am alive, and I am so grateful to be alive. It just feels like everything's going my way now, and it feels so wonderful. I am an awake and aware and fully expressed. I love myself. I am terrific. <laughs> And I love myself unconditionally. So you see, you can add all sorts of things like that and if you would like to as well. And one of the really big ways that you can supercharge this is by doing it in a mirror, looking at yourself while you're doing it. Something about that eye contact with the self. I think that it's like an electric current that uh, goes right to your brain and uh, really, really zaps those affirmations in. 
I do hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below, and I'll be happy to do my best to answer them. 